Falkirk TV is proudly sponsored by GM Landscape UK. Nicky, obviously a disappointing result today, um, but, you know, incredible run in the end. Yeah, no, like, I think we'll look back on the run and, and it's something to be massively proud of. Um, but for now, it's, it's disappointing. It's a tough one to take. We um, controlled the game for, for large, large spells, I think. We said it in the changing room, we were too slack the first 20 minutes, uh, gave the ball away too many times and ultimately we were punished. And I think Hendel's been fantastic all season, he was unlucky, I think he slips. Um, but these things happen, I almost get there on the penalty, but uh, after that, Ray sat in and defended and, and defended well, we struggled to break them down. You mentioned, um, mentioned Liam slipping, happened quite a few times during the game, um, obviously moving up, the, the best surface to be playing on. Well, like... The pitch is the pitch, it's the same for both teams. Uh, like you said, at the first half especially, there's a lot of ice slipping, but um, our pitch a couple of years ago probably wasn't too dissimilar to this now, but um, that's what it is, you know. It's like I said, same for both teams. Like you said, maybe it just wasn't your day, um, but I guess, uh, that, you know, we've spoken about the run and it had to end sometime, um, but possibly it would have been better for it not to, to end in this way. No, exactly. Like. Honestly, if we could have kept the run going forever, we would have, obviously. But um, these things happen in football. We kind of knew coming into this season it would be very, very difficult to have another invincible season. Um, but, yeah, it, it just I think today, especially with the control we had in the game, and I've not seen the possession stats, but I'd imagine we had a lot more. Um, it just lacked that little bit of creativity, that killer instinct in the final third, which, which we are good at, and we have players that can, can change a game with one little possession. Obviously, the last couple of seasons, the, the character and the strength of the squad has, has really shown um, and kind of usually moments like that, being able to come back. Um, I take it now that, you know, mentality in the squad and the, the kind of good feelings in the, around the club um, are going to just kind of help pick you guys back up and move on to the next game. No, definitely. You speak about the character of the boys in the changing room and we had a lot of boys today who haven't played many minutes. You know, we've, we're struggling with injuries at the minute, maybe picked up a couple more, but like we work hard, we've got team, we're running about each other all day. Um, you know, the lads in there, they're all leaders. They spoke up, we're going to get round each other, we're going to go again next week. I think the fans today were brilliant, special mention to them. They were out in the numbers and were loud as anything and um, made that atmosphere fantastic for us. Yeah, there was a really nice moment at the end where um, the fans were applauding you guys and you guys were applauding the fans. Um, a good indicator perhaps of um, how close that, um, that that bond between you guys and the and the fans has grown. Yeah, no, and that's 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 been a big part of our success and, and we're gonna need that going forward. You know, that the there might be more difficult times ahead, but um, as long as we're on the same page and the fans are on the same page, you know, ultimately at the end of the day we want to win football matches. That's what makes us happy, that's what makes the fans happy. Um, so we're doing our best day in, day out to try and make that happen. Absolutely, Nicky, thank you very much. Cheers Adam.